Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom and I are going to be finally testing out the laminar effect. We'll be working in molds that we made ourselves, and if you'd like a whole video on how we made the molds, I'll leave one linked above. We're using Resin Pro's Art Pro Resin, which has a 100 to 66 ratio in weight. So I have my small kitchen scale here, and we'll be measuring out the part A and part B accordingly. I'll have all the products that you see in this video in my description, so if you're interested in testing out this tutorial for yourself, be sure to check out those links. This is a little bit of an older bottle of resin, so it has yellowed by now a little bit, as you might be able to tell. If something like this does happen to your resin, you can equalize the colors by adding a drop of blue transparent pigment, and that will help to get rid of the yellow. We'll be adding in pigments anyways, so we don't really have to worry about this right now. Once our resin is mixed together well, we start to separate it into smaller cups to add in our pigments. The first pigment we're using is Casting Crafts White Pigment. Next, I'm using Liquitex's Acrylic Ink in the shade Deep Violet. I added in two drops and then moved on to add my black acrylic ink into my next cup. Once my mom is done mixing in her white pigmented resin, she immediately pours it into her mold. I added in one drop of the black acrylic ink into my cup, and now I'm grabbing Resin Pro's transparent pigment, also in black, and adding a small amount into that same cup. My mom will now be adding in her acrylic ink in the shade Turquoise Deep. She adds in two drops, and I start to pour my white pigmented resin into my mold. I pour my black pigmented resin into the center of my mold, and my mom decided to add in two more drops of her acrylic ink. I now pour in my deep violet pigmented resin, and my mom goes back and adds in one more drop. I pour my clear resin into the center and use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles. I start to mix in my center detail and I'm using Chunky Glitter by Let's Resin. My mom mixes in her second shade of blue which is also Liquitex's acrylic ink and it's in the shade Thalocyanine Blue. She adds in three drops and mixes that together while I pour in my center detail into my mold. And now she's finally ready to pour. She starts off by pouring her turquoise pigmented resin and then her thalocyanine pigmented resin. And she pours in her clear resin directly into the center. She's also using Let's Resin's Chunky Glitter to be her center detail. We use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and we're mindful to move it quickly so that we don't burn our resin or our mold. And here we are the next day demolding. The top side is looking promising and we're super excited to demold it. My mom managed to achieve the effect, where I, on the other hand, unfortunately did not, so we decided to give it another go to see if we could narrow down what went wrong. We mixed in our resin once more and used all of the same pigments. This time, after mixing in my white pigmented resin, I decided to do what my mom did and pour it into the mold right away. This time around, I added in fewer drops of the Casting Craft white pigmented resin than my mom did.
Then I went ahead and mixed in my acrylic inks. I believe I added in a total of four drops of my violet. Then my mom pours her white pigmented resin into her molds. Now I'm adding in my black and this time I'm adding in two drops and then again mixing in a little bit of Resin Pro's black transparent pigment. My mom adds in about 4 drops of her thalocyanine blue, and she added in the same amount for her turquoise deep. Now we're ready to pour. We follow the same pouring steps that we did previously. And here we are the next day demolding. Interestingly enough, this time I managed to achieve the effect and my mom unfortunately did not. But now we were able to narrow down what causes the effect. And it all comes back to adding just the right amount of Casting Craft's white pigmented resin. We can clearly see that if you add in too much white pigment, it'll turn out like mine the first time or my mom's the second time. I used an X-Acto knife to try and scrape off some of the sharp edges. and I'm using a shiny silver paint marker for the edges. If you found this video to be useful or interesting, feel free to let me know in the comments or leave a thumbs up. I also have a Patreon page where I like to sometimes go a little bit more into depth of things. So if you're interested in that, or if you'd like to be able to ask me questions about anything, I'll have my Patreon page linked below. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.